guys, welcome. It is TGR here, and we're bringing you an absolutely cracker of another retro game here on Retro Sunday. It's Championship Manager 1997-98, and we're going to be showing you some of the cool ins and outs of this fantastic game that I once played, obviously going back to over two decades ago. Now, obviously, for any of you guys, obviously, this is being run on DOSBox. Now, if any of you guys uh, are having issues with uh, DOSBox, we will be doing a video on how you'll be able to convert the old classic retro games using the DOSBox. So make sure you do watch out for that video. So whilst we are waiting for the new game to load up and we can show you some of the old cracking features from this game, just want to make sure you're all uh, aware from when we started a video. If you do like these uh, old retro games from Retro Sunday, please make sure you smash a like on the video. If you are new, uh, subscribe to the channel as well as hitting that notification bell as well. Also, guys, just make sure that you haven't already seen it. Of course, the we do have also a couple of other retro games that's already on the channel so please make sure you do give them a check is one of them being the original championship manager game um from domark if you remember those uh, fantastic guys who started the championship manager franchise as well as the championship manager 2 the couple of seasons before this one came out so also guys just make sure you're aware obviously we do have episode 4 of uh, Barcelona and episode 4 of Dortmund on the channel episode 4 of Talk United will be out shortly as well so make sure that you do give them a quick check as well guys so this is nearly done this page is loaded up nearly and uh, we'll be able to see some of the old cracking features some of the old teams some of the old players and see and here we are, so the shortlist in all the teams now, God, this is bringing back some memories, this really is. This game came out when I was 10 years old, how scary is that? So this game is officially 24 years old this year, that's scary, absolutely scary. Anyway guys, if you do like Retro Sunday, obviously make sure you do have a quick check on the uh, playlist as well, because Retro Sunday has its own playlist videos where you can watch purely just the retro games that we've uploaded onto the channel. So let's have a quick little gander, let's say at, let's go to Newcastle United, I haven't done them for a long time. <clears throat> so going through all the international teams, fair play awards, God I remember that. Always used to try and be the England manager, and the only way of being an England manager is actually putting in the original person's name. If I remember rightly, that was Glenn Hoddle, maybe Terry Venables, one of the two. So let's see. God, this is retro. This is retro at its finest. Ian Rush, Alan Shearer. Look how basic and simple the, this format is. It's absolutely brilliant. So looking at the competition history. We'll look at the Champions League. Don't want to look at the next fixtures. Look at the history itself. So the history itself, it can go back as far as 1985 for the Champions League. Obviously, it'll be the same for the Cup Winners Cup. As well as the UEFA Cup, it should be as well. Yeah. We'll have a quick look at the English Premier League competition history. So, yeah, so Newcastle come and runners up. Oh, they go back as far as 1984 with this. So, we look at Division 1, have a look at some of the teams that are on here. So, you've got Birmingham, Cities on here, uh, Nottingham Forest, Oxford, so high up, obviously. Wolves are in here. Next division, we've got Bournemouth, Fulham, big teams there. Plymouth, they're usually in the third division. And speaking of the third division, of course, you do have the magnificent Torquay United with a very minimal structured team. Of course, just it's it's it is amazing seeing how 
basic this uh, this this game is, and yet it's it feels like it's nostalgia, purely purely nostalgia. It really, really is. Dion Dublin obviously is at Coventry City at that point. Stan Collymore, Trevor St Clair, Stuart Pearce. Oh, oh yeah, he's in my team, isn't he? So having a look at some of the player transfer list here. You've got the likes of Patrick Vieira being 21 years old. Steve Stone, Steve McManaman, Bentino Carbone for Sheffield Wednesday. Nigel Quashi, he was a really good player on this game. Gareth Southgate. Paolo Di Canio, when he was at Sheffield Wednesday, literally just before he pushed the referee over. Julian Dix, fantastic left back on this game as well. So we'll be able to uh, find some players here. So just to give you an idea of some of the people that were really good, if I can remember how to spell their name. Sean Devine from Barnet. He was a fantastic player to buy on this game. Does score you lots of goals. You can't click on Division 3 on there. So if I remember rightly, there was one player in particular that was playing for, I think it was Cambridge. No, just try and find where Cambridge are. They are third division. Yep. Uh, Tom Youngs. There we go. This fantastic little young player, he, look at his stats, he looks nothing. He looks like he's just a regular um, jobber or noob for most people's new terminology nowadays. He does look like a regular person who just doesn't perform well. But Tom Youngs is like the Maxim Saigalco of Championship Manager 0102. He just scores a tremendous amount of goals for you. So he's definitely one player that you guys need to look at. If you do play the, uh, the Championship Manager 97, 98 franchise. <clears throat> so going back to the team here. I mean, I'll be looking at getting rid of Paul Arneson. Obviously, because he's wanted. Steve Watson would be staying. Purely because Pistone is uh, not the ideal. He's not the ideal person to play at right back for this team. They do have Warren Barton. <clears throat> but uh, it'll be bouncing between Steve Watson and Warren Barton. But there'll be a couple of players that I would be bringing in uh, for this game. Now, if any of you guys do want to have um, a video of the Championship Manager 97-98 season, um, <clears throat> where we'll do episodes on it, please make sure you do leave a comment below. Obviously, I'll be interested to see if any of you guys would like a championship manager 0102, uh, 9798, so, sorry, season on here. <coughs> now, having a look at some of the players that are interested in joining Newcastle United from uh, international states. So, you've got Robert Perez, Ibrahim Bakayoko, another fantastic player you need to buy on this game. <coughs> Oliver Bierhoff, he's another player you need to buy on this game as well. A lot of uh, a lot of um, attacking players uh, that are really good on this game. Jonathan Benito, he's a clack, he's a cracker of a player in midfield as well. <coughs> Christian Wurns, a young Christian Wurns, should I say? Roberto Baggio, oh the legend himself. Uh, Adrian Hill, he's another good player. Just try and see if I can come across this defender that I always used to buy. That's his name. Martin. Oh, I'll try and... I knew he was a Scottish player. Oh, I've gone off that. Uh... Uh, da, 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 top of the European teams, I want to say. No, let's go for other European teams. L N. Uh, 
we will find it. Is it Motherwell? No, it's not Motherwell, so. Rest of the world, it must be under there. Oh, I'm really struggling to find this other player. Is it Partick Thistle? Yes, it is. There we go. Martin Lachlan. He is a fantastic left back on this game. Is someone that you should definitely be buying for your team, Martin Lachlan. He is an absolute screamer of a player. <clears throat> but, I mean, apart from that, guys, I mean, this is basically the box standard of 1997-98 Championship Manager. So if you do want uh, an episode season on Championship Manager 97-98, please make sure you leave a comment below. If you do like this video, please smash a like. Um, also, if you're new, subscribe as well as hitting the notification bell as well. And of course, guys, don't forget, if you have any problems with DOSBox at all, please leave a comment and I'll be, I'll be, I'll be more than happy to do a video and showing you how you can get uh, CM9798 or one of the other retro games working on DOSBox. Well, apart from that, guys, I look forward to seeing each and every one of you at the next video here at TGR. That's Gaming Robbo.